Hey guys, Gale Effects here. Um, back with another video. This is going to be my opinions on the September 2011 ban list. Um, I'm not. I was originally going to show the cards, like pull out of my collection, show the cards, but I don't have all the cards, so it wouldn't help much. Um, so, but I'll leave a copy of the ban list. In the description below, and pretty much, you're, I'm gonna, I'm using the same mat. So while I'm talking, you're gonna be looking at Kasame's face. Yeah. But anyways, um, ban list, ban cards. I'm gonna start out with. I'm just gonna talk about them one at a time. Um, Fishbork Blaster. Gotta say that hurts um, Formula Monarchs a lot, but they got hurt. I think Formula Monarchs are dead pretty much. Formula Monarchs. I think they'll revert back to their um, original Frog Monarch Frognarks, like um, the build. I had a deck profile of one of a long time ago. They'll probably revert back to something like that. Sorry, I gotta take a drink of my Mountain Dew. But, um, but the, that was probably a good idea to ban Fishborg. I mean, limiting it wouldn't help much. Um, I know there's a lot of loops that involve um, Fishborg, and it's in other words, Konami just made a good, good play with that one. Um, Mind Master, gotta say I'm a little disappointed. I mean, a little upset that it's banned, but it's for the best. Um, before I continue, remember that the um. Ban list is based on the OCG um, for, um, format, so um, I know I know for sure six samurais were running amok. Veyu Turbo was is actually pretty doing pretty good. Um, I don't know what else is. I think I couldn't tell you, but I'm guessing um maybe um. If any of you heard, have heard of the Gusta cards, um, if you've played WC11 or um, Tag Force 5, you will know you should know what they are. Um, there's a lot of loops involving um, Brain Le Research Lab, Mind Master, and two of the Gusta cards. I think it's Calm, calm and something else. Um, but it loops, you draw a lot. That's I think that's the main reason they banned it. And I think... Also, that it's gonna be that would have been um food for um chaos, which is gonna be running amok this format, I think, um because you just keep paying until you thin your deck of all of the um psychics, and there's a lot of um light psychics and dark psychics. So yeah, once again, that was a good play. Um, Royal Oppression. I want to say that was their way of hurting um Veyu Turbo, just because um. Veyu, its effect activates that special summon, then Royal Oppression would activate. It does not get removed from play. I think this should be mo known by most people by now, but for those who don't, yeah, it stays in the graveyard when negated with Oppression, so if you're, so you can use its effect again. So I think that was their way of hitting Veyu Turbo. Um, here, next card is one that I think a lot of people are going to be worried about. Giant Trunade. Um, the... I have to say, there, there's a good side and a bad side to this. I think Konami made the better choice to ban Trunade and bring back Heavy Storm. Um, I'll explain a little bit more once I start talking about Heavy Storm, but they made the better idea. This may sound weird, but I'll explain in a little bit. Um, that's it for the ban cards. Um, I got the ban list on my computer, so I'm just kind of scrolling down here. Sorry, my computer. It's running slow because I'm trying to edit a video, upload a vi video. It's this is not a multitasking computer. Um, okay, got it. Next is limited. Um, first card on the list is Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning. I this is the one card I did pull out to show you guys. Um, because it's an older card. For those people who are just starting, you probably have might not have heard of this because it's been banned for so long it 
I want to say it was banned when I started. I started during like Soul of the Duelist, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Maybe it was banned later and I just didn't know. <sighs> but, um, people. People originally thought this was gonna wreck our format. Um, I think it will um, form the format at towards the beginning because people are gonna be like, "Oh my goodness, this is gonna be amazing!" and run a ton of chaos, Twilight, especially Twilight, um, chaos variants, and they're gonna just be abusing him, the three chaos sorcerers we have, and not to mention this thing is trade in, can be used with trade in. So, but not, not that you'd want to, but it's an option. Um, I honestly th don't think it will be that big of a deal. Um, in the OCG, which is what the ban list is based on, um, the pro the priority ruling is gone. So it's n this card is not a biggest threat because when you summon it, you can't call priority and remove something before your opponent can bottomless it. Um. Plus, it can attack twice. When it can attack twice if it destroys a monster first. So, but so, um, I think this is gonna make the format rather interesting, though. I'm not sure if it's gonna break it or me. I think it'll form it towards the beginning. Then people will be like, eh, it's not that big a deal. Then you won't see as many chaos and twilight variants running around. So anyways, next card, um, the Bree Dragon. I, this, mm, debris plants and stuff like that, it's dead. They've got one debris dragon and one loon fire, which is next on the list. So, they're not gonna, um, TCG might be able to make it for a little, like, the, um, plant engine might be able to make it for a little bit. In the TCG, because we have we still have Tangus, so you can run one Lone Fire, one Dandelion, Glow Up, and I think s most people run Spore in their engine, especially with the um um reprint of Spore as a super in Generation Four Special Edition. Mm, nothing to do. Um, but debris plants and stuff like debris plants as a deck itself is dead I'm calling it now it's dead so I already said lone fire um now we get into some samurai stuff um legendary six samurai she n it's about time <laughs> I've gotta say um samurai have have been horrible I think mm, it's been running amok in TCG, OCG, and it's about time they took care of it. Honestly, I was expecting them to um, semi-limit Sheehan for... Kind of like what they do with... Think of what they did with Light Swarms. Um, like, they um, kept Judgment Dragon at semi-limited. Um, Lumina to one, and Necro, Necro Gardener to one, and Charge to one. I was thinking um, Sheehan to two... Kazan to one, and maybe their tuner, but I think they made the better play. I expected worse from them, at least. So, yeah. Once again, I like this idea. Um, next is TG Hyper Librarian. There's... Some people say with this, it's a lot less horrible. It's still pretty bad. Um, there... If you go on YouTube, you can... Well, if you... Search YouTube, which you're on right now, so just pause the video right now if you want, before you forget about it, and search, like, um, you know, I'll leave a, um, link in the description of a video, it's a loop, it involves future fusion, the three, and the six new Omni heroes, um, I'm not gonna go into detail about that, I'll, if I can find it, I'll put it in the description. But that only requires one librarian, and it's horrible. So they they made it little more inconsistent. 
because so morning bottomless but it's still not it's still going to be big um anyways next card of formula synchron ouch i personally don't think that was a huge problem this is my personal opinion you guys might think differently, but um, Formula to One, I didn't see that coming, and honestly, I don't think it's that bad. It, yes, it gives you plus one for um, summoning it, and if you have Librarian, it becomes well, it's a plus zero for, yeah, plus zero for summoning it because it's two, two synchro materials. You summon him, that's minus one. Then you draw a card, that's plus two, that's plus zero, zero. Um, if you have li Librarian, it becomes a plus one so it I don't think it deserves to be limited but I'll get over it luckily I only have two so <laughs> um next card and probably another one people are like oh my goodness this format's gonna be horrible um heavy storm I once again Konami did a good job with this ban list I think just they made a few screw ups and what the heck decisions, but overall they did a good job. Um, Heavy Storm. The one reason I think Heavy Storm should be limited and True Nade gone. True Nade gets around Stardust Dragon, Starlight Road, anything that negates destruction. True Nade gets around, and that's um, that's just setting up for OTKs pretty much. Um, another reason Heavy Storm is good, it encourages conservative plays. In other words, you're not going to set five back rows, you know, because in fear that your opponent has Heavy Storm in their hand. If your opponent has True Nade, oh, they just add him back to your hand. No big deal, you know. But Heavy Storm, it gets you thinking. Do they have Heavy Storm? Do they, you know? But, yeah, that was a good idea. Um, probably one of the if you don't think about it much, it's stupid. It was a stupid idea, but if you think about it a lot, like I have, but um, it's a good idea. Um, next card on the list, Primal Seed. Um, this card once again supports um, Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. Um, it was at three before the span list, but they caught a loop before it happened. Um, once again, I'll try to find a Hey, um, link to a video, but there is a loop. If you have Black Cluster Soldier on the field and any machine, really, um, probably like Cyber Dragon or something. I've seen it done with Cyber End, and wow. Um, what you need is Macrocosmos on the field. Um, at least one card removed from play, and you have two removed from play for Black Cluster Soldier. And you need two primal seeds in your hand and one limiter remo removal. If you, you sh some of you probably see where this is going. Um, play limiter removal, double the attack of the um, machine you have. Limiter removal gets removed from play. Primal seed, add um, any removed from play card and one limiter removal back to your hand. Activate limiter removal, activate the other primal seed, a add primal seed and limiter removal back to your hand, and keep looping and looping and looping. Crazy attack power. I'm surprised Konami caught that loop before it happened, because it's pretty easy to pull off, and it could have been pretty bad. Um, but at one, it can still be useful, I mean... One example I was thinking of is um, DD Crow something, Veil or something, remove from play for Black Luster, Primal Seed, add it back to your hand. But there's other stuff you can do with it. Just it's good. It's a little bit specific, but still pretty good. Um, Machine Smoke Signal. I honestly thinking about it wasn't a bad idea because they abused smoke signal a lot but I expected other stuff to get hit um, um like their um Bushido counter um if 
Steelers, like, um, United and, I forget the other one, it was out of, it was the one out of Extreme Victory, if someone can post in the comments which one it is, I'm, I just know it produces Bushido counters and you can send it to the graveyard to special summon a, um, six samurai with level equal to the number of Bushido counters on it, I think that's it. I'm, I've never used Samurai, so I don't know. But I think those were the main problems because, um, Gateway's still out there, so. I don't think. If I said before that Samurais are dead, I doubt it. They're hurt pretty badly, but they're not dead. They'll still see some play. They'll be. They won't be Tier 1, I can almost guarantee that. I think Tier 2. Tier 2, low tier 1, I don't know, but they're still not bad. Um, last card for limited, and but and it's Pot of Avarice. I think it was a good idea because um, the way I heard someone put it, I think it was um, 78610, um, the, um, the downside of the card, which is adding five cards from your graveyard back to your deck ended up becoming a um good thing more than anything so it's I wouldn't say it's better than pot of greed but it's on the same level because it's it's a dead draw if you have less than it's a dead draw early games and whenever you don't have five monsters in the graveyard but other than that um, late game you should have at least five monsters in your graveyard um, so limiting it that was probably a good idea <coughs> oh, excuse me but anyways um, semi limited next first one is summoner monk I'm surprised to say the least I honestly think that is tr to try to get more people to use um, exceed cards I'm pretty sure Summoner Monk says you can special summon any this card of spell, special summon a level four monster, and it cannot attack. I don't think it says except Summoner Monk, which makes it really good at two, and probably the reason it was limited in the first place. So now you can um, summon one, discard a spell, summon another, discard another spell, get a level four. Rank 4, pretty much all rank 4s require 2 or 3 materials now, so, yeah, I'm surprised. I don't think, I think there are going to be some chaos builds that run it, because it's a dark, so, um, but, um, it, it might have somewhat of an effect on the meta. Hang on one second. Anyways, Dragodia. I don't know what to say really. It's <laughs> I don't see it used that much really. Um, gadgets. That's last time I really saw it used that much. All right. Personally, most of the time I can't. Um, sometimes I preferred over um gores, especially in um back row heavy decks. Because Trigodia just requires battle damage. Um, Gorge, it requires a clear field to summon, so... But I'm not sure what's going to happen with 2. I think it'll be rather interesting to see how... If people decide, hey... I, kn I can do this and abuse Trigodia. But, I don't know. <laughs> Roy specific, huh? Anyways, next card. Necrogardena. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna see a good bit of play. I think they're trying to get Light Sworn back out of, out in the meta again. Especially with, um, well, not so much Light Sworns as Twilight. Um, but I think that's gonna be, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be one of the problem cards, but it's just gonna fuel the fire, really. Um, next, Dulorian, Tiger King of Ice Barrier. Once again, um, they caught a mistake they made. Um, 
the original loop of it was um symbol of heritage bounce um synchro in a three have like synchro in a three keep get one in the grave i don't know how exactly it worked but pretty much you get all three in the grave symbol of heritage summon another Dulorian, bounce it back to your hand, Mass Driver, send it to the graveyard, rinse and repeat. But with Mass Driver banned last format, they said, hey, let's put it at three. It won't do that much. It did. Um, there are still loops involving it and um, Symbol of Heritage, so they put it back to two. It's not, it, I think it killed some loops. But I think the meta will be better because of it. Um, Destiny Draw. Next card to two. I'm happy to see that they're trying to give Destiny Draw another chance. Um, with the heroes coming out of Generation Force and stuff like that, I think Omni Heroes are going to be good. They're not going to be like tier 1 wrecking everything like Samurai did, but they're going to be alright. They're going to be like upper tier 2, I think. But I think that's going to help with a lot of the absolute zero builds with them. Um, malicious. Because, yeah, Destiny draw send Malicious to the graveyard, remove it, special summon another one, and... When the last malicious is dead, remove it with Miracle Fusion for Absolute Zero. But, yeah, that's kind of nice to see Mind Crush. I don't know what this is going to do, really. I don't think it will see much play still. I haven't. I don't see very many decks that run it. So, I'm not sure if this will affect much. If it does. I just don't see it doing much. Swords are revealing light. Stall is going to slowly creep up I think because there's other stuff on the ban list that encourages stall so but next and probably the one of the most surprising things in the semi-limited list call of the haunted it's just funny because um it and um monster reborn were bouncing between um limited and sem um limited and banned for so long then they put both of them at one, then now they're dropping this to two. I think with Giant Trunade it won't be as bad just because um Call of the Haunted if the mater if the monster summoned with Call of the Haunted is um sent to the graveyard by Tribute, Synchro, Ixi well or used as an Ixied material I should say. Um it stays on the field, so it's a dead card on the field. True nade you can bounce it back and reuse it. Um, I think they're thinking since True Nade's gone, that won't be happening as much. But we still got Brionac, so... It'll be interesting to see if Call of the Haunted even affects anything. It, I think it will, but not greatly. Anyways, no longer um, on the list. Judgment Dragon. Uh, Light Swarms are coming back, people. Um... Light Swarms, Twilight, I think, it's, it was horrible at 2, I, it's gonna be disastrous at 3, I think, but, um, I, I might, I might change my mind later, but for now I'm saying it's gonna be disastrous. Spirit Reaper at 3, meh, I guess it's an okay decision, but, Stall again. Don't think it'll do too much. Overload fusion. I'm not sure if that was a good idea. I think the only problem is um Chimera Tech Over Dragon. And I think they're trying to get it to be used a little more, but hopefully instead of putting this back up on the list, they just ban future fusion, because that's the problem card with a lot of decks. Um um, like in Dragons, which isn't a top tier deck, I'll give you that, anyone who says that, I'll give you that much, but it's five foolish burials for the deck, I mean, come on.
That's ridiculous. Um, machines that just mills your entire monsters, monsters, and becomes an OTK machine. Um, heroes. It, there's a loop that I was talking about earlier, and once again, I'll try to find it and put it in the description, but that's another problem. I know it's about overload fusion, but pretty much that's not the problem card. The problem card is future fusion. So, yeah, I'm kind of happy it's at three. Um, <coughs> sorry. But Mystical Space Typhoon is at three now, so... Mm, some... I think you, we still... We don't need that much because Heavy Storm was at 1 again. They could have put it at 1 and I don't think many people would have cared. But I think most people will still run 2 MSTs and then side deck the last for spell and trap heavy decks. <coughs> Excuse me. Megamorph doesn't make a difference. It's not going to do anything. Um, Gravity Bind, once again, it's stall, and they're encouraging, um, Ixheeds again, because, um, rank is considered level, is not considered level, so, they can attack around Gravity Bind, level limit area B, and so on. Last one, and I'm really happy about this, Icarus attacks back at three. So, they, like, killed Black Wings, and they're pushing it a little bit back up, but it's not, go they're not gonna see much play. They're still not going to see much, and yeah, that's pretty much it. 26 minute long video. This is, this is my second longest video yet, and I'm sorry if you guys are bored by this, but um, yeah, if you like this and want me to do it for the um, March 2012 ban list, once that comes out, I'm no, I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but if you want me to do this again for that ban list, post in the comments below again. And yeah, that's it. Gail Wolf X signing out. Stay tuned for more videos. See ya.